Here's a quick demonstration on how to set up say from mobile print for email printing with guest printing feature. So once you install Safecom, you've installed the Safecom pull printer and you've installed Safecom mobile print. The Safecom pull printer is here using the Safecom pull prompt. Uh, and after installation of the Safecom mobile print, you will get the admin as a shortcut on your desktop. So you launch this, log in with your credentials, the Safecom mobile uh, credentials which is the same as the Safecom uh, administrator, so admin and the default password. To configure uh, the basic configuration for email printing, what we need to do is start with first adding the Safecom pull print device into the Safecom mobile print. So I will go and select. So this is my Safecom pull print from my Windows printers here that I want to add into my Safecom mobile print. I can give it a name. Uh, let's just say Safecom pull for now. And that's all we need to configure for this printer here. So add this device into Safecom mobile print now. And then going into other configurations to get this email printing working. So for email printing, uh, the way that I'd like to set up quickly is going from top to bottom uh, we don't need clustering api access administration login that's all fine notifications where you can go and uh, set up an email address for all notifications to be sent to outgoing mail is the important piece that we want to configure so letting know the safecom mobile print what is the smtp server for sending emails out so the server email whatever port you're using tls or ssl whatever you're using you just make sure that you specify the account that you want to send from uh, what's the email address it will look like and your company name here you can test it uh, by clicking on this box and clicking on save changes and email will be sent to this account making sure that your SMTP configurations are set up correctly so once the e uh, outgoing email is set up we can then move up from here. I'm just waiting for this to come back with the success. Okay. So while it is taking time, I try to see if I can proceed further. Yeah. Um, so going from outgoing email to email print. So we want the email print enabled. So yes, we would click on that. Uh, we will give the email address that we want the Safecom mobile print to check every time. So this is the email address on my email domain. That's the message which has come. It took a little while. Uh, so this is the email address that Safecom mobile print will be polling every four seconds you can configure and will fetch any email which is in that email to be printed out and we can configure also so we can test we can make sure that we can configure about whether we want to test just the email attachments or email body we can say ignore images which are smaller than certain size we can also do show web release in the email codes and so on and so forth. We can configure, we can blacklist and whitelist certain domains that we, we want people to print from this domain but not from those domains. So once we configure that, you save changes. So this is configuring that we want email print and which email address should be monitored for email printing. Once we have configured that, we can move on to user authentication. So for email printing with guest access in under user authentication, we need to make sure that we do two types of authentication. We do LDAP authentication. By LDAP authentication, we will automatically pick up uh, people who are part of the domain. When they send a job, we will know who the user is. We'll add the user under Safecom mobile print and they are already in the Safecom uh, administration and their job will go through straight to the pull printer. Um, just to show you how to set up the LDAP server, you provide the LDAP IP or the name, port, search DSN where you want to start searching the, the username field, email field, what the user is called. 
and to test it uh, the configuration you need to provide an LDAP administrator full DSN password and a test username and password to test and you can run the test here test it successfully make sure that you scroll down and say save so once uh, this is configured LDAP server is configured we can go back to user authentication and make sure we also set up authentication via safecom so safecom will make sure that uh, if the users in safecom they will be authenticated if they are not they will be created as guest users so again provide the necessary detail and test and save for uh, email print we also want to make sure that you know we'll, we'll look up this is why we configured the LDAP before and for unknown senders we want the unknown senders to be guest we want to create a guest account in safecom and send them an a welcome email with the created username and password so this will allow both domain printing people from the domain to be able to print seamlessly and guests to print to that system so once the user authentication is set up then we just go to the printing and security and make sure that we specify for email printing is kind of what we say in Safecom mobile print is direct print as soon as Safecom mobile print fetches the email it sends the email job which is the attachment and the body as configured to one of the queues and you can specify which queue so we will now specify the queue that we created in the first step so the Safecom mobile pull uh, the Safecom pull print queue map to the queue here the one that we added into device at the start of this video so I went to device added the device this is the device which is now available for me and for authentication we want direct with authentication so we what this means is that for email print users with logon associated will automatically go through and if they are not associated like if the user is not in that uh, LDAP then it will be or in safecom it will be created as a new user so save changes we specify which printer to use and we want to do direct authentication so that's all the setup that we need for email printing with the guest access and the default access for domain users so just to test it out and confirm here i have one email with uh, people from within the domains rjohnsatnewonsdemo.com i can take up an existing email and resend it uh, edit as a new message so Richard Jones part of the domain sends an email to print at nuance.com and the email is test that one that's what the job name will be called so I'm just sending the job we can check the job coming through and going through from on the monitor screen here so when I go to monitor we should we should see soon that the safecom mobile print will print pick up this job check the user so it's processing now it picked up the email it's processing it found out the user based on the email the user was not existing within safe uh, within safecom mobile print but it will be created and in a couple of seconds the job will also be printed to safecom pull print which means that then richard jones will be able to walk up to any mft within the configuration and set collect the job so yeah, it's printed to save pull print. We can confirm by coming here, go to our Jones, and if I see my print jobs, I have the job that I just printed. So that's the user from within the domain, a known user of the domain. He prints through seamlessly. For a guest user who walks in, they would be able to, again, pick up any email. So let me just, for the sake of simplicity, pick up this email. <coughs> So now this email is sent by Sunil at sydney.oz who is not part of the domain, he's a guest user. When I walked in and I wanted to print, uh, my host tells me that send a job to print at neonstemo.com and just to clarify, I put a subject in, all my body and my attachment will be printed based on the setup. Send that email and we can monitor that the email will be picked up by Safecom mobile print but it will not find the existing user for this uh, new email address so it's going to create a user within Safecom and send an email to sunil at uh, oz, with the login details such that they can go to any MFD login with details provided 
So that's the email that it has picked up. It is processing that. It has created a user within Safecom, and in a couple of seconds, we will also get an email back from the system. So that's the email back to Sunil saying, "Welcome to Safecom. This is your username. This is your password. I can walk up to the MFD, log in with this detail, and uh, it's created a user in Safecom as well." and my job will be ready there to be collected so if i go to print jobs that's the print job that i printed no that's the other user and this is the job that i just printed yes one so this it has got multiple users because there's a configuration as to how long do you want the guest account to be valid I, for my configuration, I have said that I want the guest account to be valid for only one minute because I was testing and I want the users to be recreated. But and this is how we want to set up in the real world as well. We don't want a user which is created today to be valid for a long time. We want that the user should be inactivated after they have maybe after six hours, eight hours, whatever is the configuration that the customer wants. So that configuration part was here. So under user authentication, I've said that automatically delete created users account after one minute. And that is why two users were created for Sunil. This could be the configuration, whatever you would like. So that's how to set up. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.